Hey, it's your boy BT, Brendan Taylor. You're watching 5th Street Gym on South Beach. You're watching True School Sports. Well, it's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT. I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I wanted to talk about a fight that may not get the most headlines because there's a lot going on in boxing. You know, we're going to the we're going into that part of the year where boxing decides to really get his shit together and close the year strong. We normally get the best fights from in that last quarter of the year from like, you know, September on out, right? So obviously, you know, the the fight that I'm most excited about that's currently scheduled is uh, Gilberto Ramirez versus Dimitri Bivol. I really don't think there's a better fight than that fight. I think it's one of the best fights in boxing that could be made and it's been made. It's uh, kind of a significant event because it's the first fight that uh, Eddie Hearn and Matchroom Boxing are doing in the United Arab Emirates in the UAE. And um, there's a fight on the undercard that was just announced that I I'm really excited about. You know, uh, the Welsh wizard, Joe Cordina, uh, fresh off of a sensational knockout victory over Kenichi Ogawa to capture the IBF Super Featherweight title. He'll be taking on the dangerous game and very formidable uh, and I don't even want to try to, I don't even want to butcher his first name because it's such a hard first name to say. But Rachmanov, the, the dude that fought Jojo Diaz and gave Jojo Diaz a really hard fight. Uh, a lot of people thought, a lot of people wanted to see the rematch. It didn't happen. So it was what it was. But, uh, you know, for, for those that don't know, Rachmanov fought Jojo Diaz. Gave him a really tough fight back in, I think it was like early 2021. It might have been 2020, but I, I'm sure it was 2021. He, very strong, hard hitting Southpaw. You know, good stamina, very durable. I had a chance. To, I went back and I was watching some of his fights uh, with Jojo Diaz, with uh, Azinga Fuzili. And uh, this is the kind of guy that if your conditioning is not right, if if you're a guy, if you're a fighter that fades in the back half of fights, um, if your defense is leaky, you will get found out, particularly as the fight goes on, right? So with that being said, you know, a lot of people think that Rachmanov can beat Joe Cordina. Uh, in fact, my man, uh, shout out to him, uh, Punch Perfect Boxing, you know, great channel, very, very good at uh, boxing, you know, breaking down boxing, he understands boxing, he understands styles, I would, I would highly recommend anybody, whether you're in America, the UK, go subscribe to my man, Punch Perfect Boxing, he really is one of the, the hottest young YouTube channels out right now in boxing, but, you know, he, he's of the mindset that Rockmanov is going to beat Joe Cordina, so I, I, I've been listening to him a little bit, and, um, that's actually what prompted me to go back and watch some Rachmanov fights. And I got to say, man, I think Rachmanov will be dangerous, like for anybody at on 130. But I don't think he's beating Joe Cordina. Straight up, I don't. Absolutely not. Because, now maybe if this was like Joe Cordina four fights ago, I would say yeah. But not now. I think, I think Joe has uh, developed very well under the watchful eye of Tony Sims. He's a guy now that you, you watch him fight. I mean, he, he fights with such a fluidity. He's adapted his style to the pros. He didn't always have the pro style when he came in to boxing, but uh, he moved down. Up, he, he moved from 135 down to 130 where he's, where he's uh, punches harder for the weight. Um, I think one thing that will, will allow Cordina to not just win. I, think, I, I don't think he's just going to win. I think he's going to win it and, and look pretty good doing it. I think Joe Cordina's feint, his feint, his ability to offset the opponent's rhythm they're gonna they're gonna really um, give Rockman uh, some problems. Apart from that, I also think that Rockmanov's defense is very leaky. Uh, whether you watch the uh, Fuzili fights or the fight against Jojo Diaz, and granted, right, granted, style wise, those guys are southpaw. So when you get a southpaw versus southpaw, it's different than when you get a southpaw versus orthodox. So I've taken these things into consideration, but. Still, his head is right there on the line. His defense is leaky. He, he's very susceptible to overhands, whether they be from the orthodox stance or softball stance. And I just feel like, you know, and, and not just what I feel like, but what I, what I know from watching Joe Cordina is one thing he's improved on is his understanding of distance, the feints. And as we saw in the Kenichi Ogawa fight, he can definitely hit you with a mean uh, right hand to get you out of there if you're not careful. So I, I, just, I just truly believe he makes too many defensive lapses against uh in general for a guy like joe cordina to not capitalize on and i feel like the only way he's gonna beat joe cordina is if joe cordina has 
a letdown. If Joe Cordina maybe doesn't do the right things in camp, if Joe Cordina um, doesn't really take him serious or has just a mental letdown that fighters tend to have because not every, most fighters in boxing aren't consistent fight by fight. You know, most guys fight up and down to the level of competition. So that's why you got to appreciate the guys like Terrence Crawford and Chot Latito and Floyd and Pacquiao because these guys' performance always stay, you know, pretty consistent. Ir irrespective of the results, their, performance, their performances are always pretty at a, at a high level every fight. So... Um, we'll see what happens with Joe Cordina because he, this is a guy in Joe Cordina who's talking about he want to fight to Corey Stevenson. He, you know, Hector Luis Garcia just became champion. There's some good, great fights out there for him, but this is this is a tough mandatory challenge, and I and I applaud him for taking it. But truthfully speaking, I I, I really do think that um, I really do think Joe Cordina is gonna hurt him. I think Joe I think Joe Cordina is gonna hurt him. I think Joe Cordina is going to you know capitalize on. His lack of head movement, um, the de defensive lapses that he makes. Um, I think the feints are going to break his rhythm. I think Rachmanov, though, I'll, I'll say this. I think Rachmanov, I think Rachmanov will push Joe Cordina. I, I, like, I, I don't think he's going to get him out of there right away. I think this fight's going to go some rounds. But, but I, ultimately, I see Joe Cordina uh, showing his class over time. Showing why he's become champion. Why he fought at such a high level in the amateurs. And I see Joe Cordina having the kind of performance in this fight against Rakhmanov to where we say, okay, this guy should be fighting Shakur Stevenson. Shakur Stevenson shouldn't be leading 130 without fighting Joe Cordina. And, and, and that's my humble opinion. I think, I think Joe Cordina showed me a lot in that last fight against Ogawa. And he's going to show me, a, and I believe he'll show me some more against Rakhmanov. But it's not going to be easy. Rakhmanov is not someone to be overlooked. This is a guy that's fought, you know, one of the top 30 pounders out there in Jojo Diaz. But I just think, you know, there's levels in boxing. Rachmanov is really good at what he does. He's very strong. He's sturdy. He's durable. He's southpaw. You take these things into consideration, but I just think Joe Cordina has more uh, levels, more dimensions, and um, I even think he punches harder. That's just my opinion. He's a sharper punch and a harder puncher, so that, that's 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 going to be the, the the holy trinity of problems for uh, for Rachmanov. But listen, if I'm wrong, and, and, per, and punch and perfect punch boxing is right as he as he is a lot because he does get a lot of predictions right. You gotta give credit where credit is due. Then I, I, of course I'll I'll, I'll I'll be here and I'll say, look, my man, I, I, my man Jamie Bourne, my man, perfect punch boxing. He came he came out here and he told you guys about, about Rachmanov a long time ago. But from what I've seen on film, watching watching Rachmanov's fights going back, I don't I don't see it. I don't see him being Joe Cordina unless Joe Cordina's conditioning isn't isn't the best and he just fades down the stretch of the fight. But we'll see. So uh, yeah, that's the news. Joe Cordina taking on Rachmanov uh, in his first defense of the IBF title, his mandatory challenger. So let's see how it goes. Should be fun. That'll also be November, November, November the 5th on the uh, Zurdo versus Bivol undercard. So uh, leave your comments down below. What kind of chance do you give Rachmanov and, and what kind of performance do you think Joe Cordina will have in the fight? Uh, leave your comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take it uh, Just like uh, uh, Mayweather's uncles would say, a lot of people don't know shit about boxing. Um, you know, um, you you do. You've done Thank it. Thank you. You're about the only smart guy that I know, bro. Nobody knows shit about boxing. I appreciate it, man. I'm gonna say, man, make sure to follow True School Sports, always covering boxing at the highest level, man, and make sure to subscribe to his YouTube channel. Follow him on Instagram at Just a Kid from Danny as Ooh, well. He, he the plug.